Hi guys, welcome to our today's video. So today, we will talk about the Croatia work visa. In today's video, we will discuss how to find jobs in Croatia with visa sponsorship, how to apply for a Croatia work visa, job salaries, and work visa cost. So make sure to watch the full video. If you want to move to the Europe Schengen Zone, this is the best opportunity for you. The Schengen Zone, a travel-free area in Europe, includes 27 countries. You can travel to the other 26 Schengen countries visa-free, if you have a visa from any Schengen country. Croatia has a very good visa approval rate. Croatia government mentions all visa information on their website. You can see it on the screen. Croatia government received almost 129,339 work permit applications, processed 109,241 applications, and rejected only 3511 applications. You can also see occupations where they received the most applications. Construction worker, bricklayer, and waiter waitress are the top three occupations where they received the applications and approved visas. They all share information about work permits on their official website. 14,000 vacancies still available where they need workers. How to find jobs in Croatia? Croatia. There are many online resources where you can look for available job positions in Croatia. The site Expit in Croatia. Everything you need to know is in the guides. The link is in the description. This guide has everything you need to know about finding a job, including Facebook groups, links to apply for jobs, and many websites or job portals where you can start the process. In Croatia, the government is very helpful in helping you find a job. You are watching these two government websites right now on the screen. You can apply for jobs on these sites. The best part is you can find out everything you need about the company. You can look up their email addresses and immediately send them your CV and cover letter. Most companies will give you accommodation to stay and insurance but some companies might not give you accommodation. So, the only extra cost you'll have to pay is food. The company will pay for your insurance, medical care, and living expenses. On the screen, you see the jobs list where Croatia needs workers. These jobs open in Croatia, and companies want to hire people who can start immediately. Then the government gives out the work permit. Every nation often has vacancies in its workforce, and sometimes it might be challenging to find suitable candidates among its population. This is the justification they use for bringing in workers from other third world countries. You can read all the information about finding jobs in Croatia on the website. I've already put the links in the description. You can find all the information you need about jobs on the site. Let's discuss salary. 700 euros is the minimum monthly wage in Croatia. Croatia uses the kuna as its currency. I'm aware that many people think this is a very low salary, but this is the minimum salary. Your salary depends on your job. Let's now discuss how to apply for a work permit. First, you get a job and an employer who will help you make an employment contract. Second step, when the employment contract is ready, and if you are coming for jobs that do not have a skills shortage in Croatia, your employer asks you to take a labor market exam at ZZZ. Online application will be made for the labor test. Third step. Your employer requests MUP to accept your Croatia work visa. Your employer gives an application to MUP. You need to provide your documents to your employer. You can see the documents you need on the screen. If the MUP approves your work permit, it takes about 8 to 12 weeks. You can start applying for a visa from your home country. You can see the list of documents that must be submitted with the visa application on the screen. It's all about the process. Costing. If you apply for a visa yourself, then the price is low. You need to pay visa fees. If you get in touch with an agent, the cost depends on the agent. Conclusion. It has a 100% visa acceptance rate. Additionally, you can look at government statistics. Second, the process is simple. You may travel to Croatia because each step takes only three to four months. If I were to compare other countries, they might take eight, nine months or even up to a year for all work or visa related approvals. This is all about my opinion in terms of Croatia. It is easy to apply for jobs and take a work 
work permit. Some problems you face are a language barrier, and even you have to compromise in terms of salary. Depending on experience, this salary may change. I hope this video is useful for you all.